interesting that the Times did, their editor published an, an article saying, yeah, we had some inaccuracies. You don't, the intent wasn't there to damage Tesla, but the reporter could have been a little more diligent, perhaps. What, yeah, what, Elon Musk claimed victory on that. I'm not so sure that the New York Times public editor would actually uh, say that that was her actual intent. But either way, this is something that uh, caused a huge kerfuffle. <laughs> One of my favorite words. Love that word. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, I think there's definitely downside to it uh, in the sense that there's a lot of folks out there that, that maybe were on the fence about whether or not they should, they should purchase a car like this and, and got a little bit scared by the New York Times article. But uh, the other side of that coin is that Ever since that article came out, there has been absolutely massive amount of press to Tesla. I saw uh, I saw them on on CNBC for uh, you know all day yesterday with their auto editor on the road uh, uh, mimicking the test drive, and the amount of free press that Tesla has received out of this New York Times article, I think, makes me think that Elon Musk should be sending that uh, journalist uh, flowers and chocolate rather than uh, nasty notes. The bears in the office here are saying this is really harmful to Tesla. They think that maybe too many people say, oh, this is just an expensive toy. It doesn't even work in the real world when, when I would want it to. Well, I, I've, I have a car. I have a Model S, and my wife and I have been driving it for about 1,000 miles now. Uh, we've had uh, to look to public charging stations a total of one time in the last month, and that's because I took a trip down to Washington, D.C., which was 320 miles round trip. Uh, I have never had a problem uh, um, with charging because I charge at home uh, for the vast majority of my trip and, and my round trip for a long distance down to DC was was absolutely perfect.